Hey, it's Alex from Motoroso.com, your dedicated auto parts marketplace. And I'm in our studio standing in front of our friend Matt's 2019 Raptor. And this is a teaser video for our upcoming bolt-on build project series for this Raptor. Now this is a series where we're gonna show step-by-step -step installation guides for all the parts that go into the build. So make sure to go subscribe to the channel right now so you don't miss any of those videos. All the parts we install on this build are available at Motoroso.com where you can browse over a million top name brand products sold by trusted vendors at great prices and the shipping is always free with no minimum. So now let's talk about our plans for this Raptor build. Two Raptor is an absolute beast from the showroom floor, but like any popular car or truck, there are thousands of aftermarket modifications to personalize your vehicle or get more performance out of it, and we're planning on doing both on this Raptor build. Now, our idea with this project is that this is a bolt-on build, meaning that you can install all of these parts with off-the-shelf products and with little to no fabrication or cutting. We love a crazy build that has awesome fabrication as much as the next guy, but the bottom line is that most people can't afford to go cutting up their Raptor. So all of these parts can be purchased at Motoroso.com, of course, and then installed using our how-to installation guide videos right here on YouTube. And we don't know exactly which parts we're gonna be using just yet, but I wanna take you through the type of mods that we're planning for this build. The front of the Raptor already has a really nice aggressive look, but we're looking to take that to the next level. And one of the first mods on our list is gonna be a bumper. We're gonna be looking for something angular and allows us to accessorize, maybe gives it that kind of racy look. Accessories we'd be looking to add to the bumper will be definitely cube fog lights, an LED light bar, and definitely a winch. We want a skid plate in there so it has that Baja look as well. Lots of options out there on the market, but we'll share what we choose with you when we do. Now, of course, the grill is also gonna look really cool on your factory Raptor, but there's tons of options for stepping that up as well. We'll be looking for something either wire mesh or CNC machined and something that matches the bumper really well. Probably look to integrate some LED lights in the grill too. All right, and all these cosmetic upgrades are exciting, but there's a power plant under this hood that we wanna talk about next. From the factory, this second generation Raptor's already making 450 horsepower and over 500 pound feet of torque, which is enough power for anybody for almost any purpose. But of course, more is always better. So as we get into the mods here, first thing we're gonna do is get ourselves a tuner. Push a little bit more power out of it from the factory settings and just see what kind of gains we can get there. It's also gonna allow us to keep up with all the other mods that we add, always have a tune on hand to make sure we get the most out of the mod and protect the engine, keep it running clean. First mod we'd probably do is be something in the air intake area. Now the factory Ram air intake works very, very well for the engine, but you can always get a little bit more airflow from a cold air intake from an aftermarket brand. Some of these intakes are able to improve airflow into the engine by 50 to 90%, so some big gains to be had there. On the other side of the engine, getting more exhaust gases out, always important. So a catback exhaust is gonna be one of the top mods we do that in that area. And then if you want a little bit more, you can go with a replaced downpipe. Now downpipe in California is gonna to need to be a catted downpipe and in most other states as well. But if you're lucky enough to live in a state where you can go catless, you get that much more performance from a catless downpipe. Now, if we wanna get into some of the bigger mods, we're gonna be looking at doing an intercooler upgrade because for any turbocharged engine, keeping that engine cool is critical to maximizing performance. So some sort of an intercooler upgrade is gonna be a really big deal on this truck. And you wanna make sure that you get one that works with your aftermarket bumper because some of them don't and do require relocation. And then we're not sure if this will happen on this truck yet, but Precision Turbo has been releasing some pretty awesome drop-in stock replacement turbo upgrade kits that are pushing out serious horsepower. So if they make a kit for this truck in time, you might even see us do a twin turbo upgrade from Precision. The stock suspension on your Raptor is so good that we might not be touching anything there at all. Now there are mid-travel and long-travel suspension kits on the market, but the bottom line is that because we're trying to make this a bolt-on build with no cutting and fabrication, those kits may just not be an option. But stay tuned to see what we do in the suspension department. One thing we are for sure going to do is put a leveling kit to bring up the front two inches, make a little bit of extra room for the wheels and tires and give it that leveled look. And then on wheels and tires, we'll definitely go from a 35 up to a 37 inch tire. Now, if we want a little bit more suspension travel out of the front, we may consider doing an upper control arm with a uniball and free up some of that travel. 
Other modifications we're gonna do on this side is gonna include a chase rack to give it that Baja look, and we'll probably put some side steps that also match the bumper and the chase rack. We might also do a big brake kit upgrade, and if we can find some fender flares that either have a rivet look or maybe some carbon fiber, we might upgrade the fender flares without making it too much wider than it already is. Continuing our suspension mods, we're going to be looking at getting a set of progressive leaf springs, which will enhance off-road performance, but it'll retain that street drivability. Bump stops will come in handy back here too, because if you ever take any major off-road hits, it really helps soften that blow and not beat the truck up really bad. We're also going to look at sway bars, because sway bars will help with towing, which Matt plans to do a little bit of. It'll help stabilize that load, but it'll also help it handle a lot better on street driving, which of course is going to end up being 90% of its duty. And lastly, we'll get a rear bumper that matches the front. All right, that wraps up our preview of our Raptor bolt-on build project series. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do that now. You don't want to miss any of the videos that we got coming up. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you shop for your mods at Motoroso.com where you can browse over a million top name brand products sold by trusted vendors at great prices and the shipping is always free. Thanks for watching.